This is Marcus Corval with Studio MMA and MMA Nerd, and we're here with Nam Fan. Beautiful fight, potentially the fight of the night as well. Great fight. How are you feeling? I feel ecstatic, man. I hope I hope I get the fight. You know, I hope I get the the fight of the night bonus. You still wearing the gloves? You ready to go again tonight? No, actually, I took the gloves off and then they made me put it back on for pictures. So. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, you did. Uh, you're the only one that comes down here with the gloves on. I'm a little bit scared standing next to you. Yeah, I feel like a fool, but whatever. <laughs> what do you do with the gloves after the fight? Oh, I save them and I I, ch I put them like in a glass, like a plastic case, and I I just hang them up. Yeah. Um, you said directly after the fight, Steven Seagal, you're next. I heard you. That that, that that's why I said that Steven Seagal, you're next. He's talking about smack running. About ball. you? Heck yeah! What's he saying? I don't know, he's calling Nam Fran, like blah blah blah. Well, he just pisses me off because that guy's a fraud. He takes too much credit for that front kick, and I don't know, that's wrong. But why is he talking crap about you? Because uh, I guess uh, I talk I, like I, I, I talk crap about him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to return the favor. Would you fight him? Oh, I'll mess that old man up. Get the 60 old man. I better be able to beat him with 60 old man. Come on. <laughs> Catch weight, man. I don't give a crap. Well, what weight would you want to fight Steven Seagal at? Oh, I mean, if I had a choice, I mean, cut down to 45s. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'll be like catchaway, no, no problem. And you also said that you're scared of Ronda Rousey? Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> oh, man, dude, I was, I was just I was thinking right now, like, man, I would never date that girl because you might you piss her off. She's gonna beat your ass. <laughs> so, I was like, you know, if I ever see her, you know, I just I'll go to her and be like, you know, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> well, anything else I'll do? Yeah, I, if I ever say anything to offend you, please don't beat me up. <laughs> Now, you have great jiu-jitsu, um, but you, you, you show you stand up every fight. Like the combinations you were putting together tonight looks like a professional boxer. How is it to be in there with a guy who's five inches taller and then outbox him? Uh, you know, um, I could, before, um, I used to, in the past, I used to compete in amateur boxing and professional boxing. Oh, wow. And um, my, my boxing coach, Art James, he's the man behind the magic. He, has, he trains like national level boxers. And so, like, they're like six foot, six plus guys. So, we worked really hard on getting through the, that jab, that cross, and slipping, and slipping, and bobbing, weaving. So it wasn't a problem. And fainting the right straight to a left body shot and left—it's not much. It's not stuff that you see a lot in mixed martial arts. Yeah, definitely. It's a, uh, you know, boxing. They call it uh, what was it the sweet science? It's definitely yeah. a science. It, it takes a lot of practice. What's next for you? What do you want next? Uh, you know, I think there's a Macau. You see Macau card? I like to get on that card. That'd be fun. And you're training up at Alpha Male with, with Uriah. Um, you slightly taller. Have you ever considered dropping down to 35? Yeah, you know, a lot of people tell me, why don't you go down to 135? But, dude, I'm dying at 45. Like, I can't imagine going cutting 10 more pounds. Like, just forget it. No way. Would you walk around that? I walk around, no, not that big, 160, 165. But, I mean, like, but yesterday at the way, I was like, man, I was dying. Like, there's no way I could get down to 10 more pounds. There's no <laughs> way. You are stupid. <laughs> You, you've been a pro for 11 years. A lot of people don't realize because they know you from the show, from the Ultimate Fighter show, but you've been a pro for a long, long time. And um, you fought a, f a few different weights. Are you most comfortable at 145? Oh, yeah, you know, back in the day, it was only the, the lowest weight class was 55, so I could only fight 55. But I'm really thankful that I'm able to fight at 45 right now. This is my weight that I'm very comfortable at. Namban, thank you very much for a great interview. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, man. How are you guys? See if you get that win bonus as well, right? Also, triple crown winner, Nam Fan, for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Oh, my God. Programmet presenteras av betsafe.com.